It is Vader time and it's day 19 I think. How did it get so far into Vader? I have no idea. Anyway, um, I'm at my mum's house today and I've brought Ellen over here. They're in the lounge playing. You can probably hear them in the background. They're playing shops and all kinds of things. They're very in character and in role in there. So I've snuck through here to do a little bit of work. I've got my laptop here. A um, bit of crisis management for a couple of frustrated clients um, dealing with some third party suppliers this morning. And um, I want to talk to you about my boots. These boots, which are on my feet. They're my cowgirl boots that I've had for a million years. And I love them dearly. I've had them literally since 2005, I worked out the other day, which makes them almost eight years old. And, um, oh my goodness, I really wanted a pair of cowgirl boots, but I wanted perfect cowgirl boots. They had to have the right size heel, they had to be the right colour, the colour tan leather, they had to be slouchy enough, not too much stitching. There was a long list of criteria. Anyway, I got the beloved cowgirl boots. And the first time, actually, when I got them, uh, the inside is really soft leather, that's the other thing. Really comfy, lovely soft leather. Um, when I put my foot in one of them, the first time when I wore them, it ripped. I was devastated so um had to take them back to the shop and get a replacement pair which i got really fast and they have been on my feet pretty much every day ever since apart from when i wear my ugg boots i'm pretty partial to my ugg boots over winter and flip-flops in the summer so not every day but you know what i mean they are well loved as you can see um because they're completely worn down now they are they are pretty much unwearable they're kind of like my slippers i can't part with them but really, really should. So um, what this means is the hunt is completely on for a new pair of cowgirl boots. Um, I'm in the UK and ideally I'd like to buy them here just to avoid um, shipping and customs and all that kind of stuff, just make it less complicated. I did see an amazing pair in New Zealand, but they were so expensive because things are sadly more expensive there. Um, but yeah, now is absolutely the time. Coming into summer, so mm, could argue that I should wait till after the summer. Um, but I think it was about it was about this time when I got them last time, and um, it just feels the right time. So I'm on the hunt. If you know of a pair of cowgirl boots that match this description of these amazing boots that I love, tan, scoop to the front, very slouchy, comfy leather. Tell me about it. I want to hear. I've seen some cool places in the States that have really gorgeous cowgirl boots. Um, quite elaborate ones. And I could be tempted to go a bit outlandish and a bit brave on my cowgirl boots. Um, but they just need... Oh, I can hear them. Getting excited in there. Um, they just have to be perfect. I'm not sure what perfect means yet, but they have to be perfect. So, yeah, if you have any links for me, leave them in the comments at the bottom. I would really be really, really grateful. You'd save me heaps of time and tears because this is a very emotional subject. I need new cowgirl boots. Um, I wonder how many times I said cowgirl boots in this video. Um, something else today. I am a B-schooler and um, some of my fellow B-school people are having issues about um, being brave enough to step in front of the camera and start doing videos for their businesses and their websites. So I made the suggestion, following how good I feel about Vader and the success that I feel I'm having out of doing it, um, that we do a B-school, not Vader, because it won't be a month anymore, it'll be an M month soon, um, but that we do a 30-day vlog challenge and um, it's going to be just for B-schoolers and hopefully it's going to bring out confidence in those people who might be a bit scared to go and do it and um, we've already got quite a cushy community built there so I'm figuring if I basically transfer what we've all been doing into B-school um, for those lovely lovely people over there um, that hopefully will be passing some of the Vader love on um, so yeah if you want to keep um, get into that networking um, if you're a B-schooler um, I can send you a link to the Facebook group and you can come and join us. If you're not a B-schooler but you want to be keeping an eye on those people's videos, um, then you should subscribe to my channel because I will be liking, commenting and everything else on those people's videos and it might give you some cool new contacts too. Um, B-schoolers are the best. Those ladies and a few men are so super generous with helping, suggestions, caring, shoulder to cry on. Whatever it is, they're just there all the time. Seem to be, they don't seem to sleep. Us B-schoolers don't seem to sleep. Speaking of which, yeah, sleep. As you can probably tell, I'm a bit wired. <laughs> um, I haven't had much sleep. I was awake 
I went to sleep last night at seven after or half seven, maybe eight at push, and I was awake again on and off until one. Kept waking up, checking my emails, don't know what I was waiting for, um, and then I was awake from one until almost five a.m. Pretty tired today, bags under my eyes, feeling a bit ropey. So yeah, this is a bit longer than I intended. God, and I've really raffled on about boots, B school. And bags. It's the BBB. Vader. So enough from me for today. I think I say that at the end of every video. But I mean it. I don't want a six minute Vader vlog entry. And tomorrow's Saturday. So should be room for some cool Vader videoing. See you later.